It's maintenance time again. I'm gonna show you a couple of little secret tricks that I'm gonna do to fix my trailer. Stay tuned. All right, first, let me show you some of the problems I got with it. First, uh, you see this crack right here? This two by four is actually hold a whole boat up. And if you see right here, it's got a crack coming through here. And this one's actually already split. Look, it's broken half and I put a bar underneath to hold it. All the cloth is uh, coming undone. My boat has to wrap in here nice and smooth, go on and off the trailer. And you can see these things here are actually rusted out. So I gotta get some new in them. I'm gonna do a little trick here. I'm gonna actually put some new two by fours, but I'm gonna give it some more structural support underneath with another one. Screw up underneath of it, and I'm gonna put a little secret runner on top here and eliminate the carpet. Pretty cool, huh? And this one right here, you can see this is already rusted completely off. This is just hanging. I'm gonna fix this so it guides the boat on in nice and slick, and I'm gonna show you that little trick too in just a minute. All right, let's go ahead and up the store and get some parts, and we'll get ready to get going. All right, actually getting the boat off the trailer took a little bit of ingenuity. I actually put a rope on here, tied it to my truck, and actually yanked it off the trailer. I had to do that to get uh, get access to my trailer so I could work on it. So let's talk about what we'll do to the trailer right now. Check it out. All right, we're starting to get stuff off. Of course, anytime anything stays in salt water, everything's rusting. You got to cut it off and everything else. But we got it off, and let me show you what we got right now. All right, this was holding my boat up right here. Two of those, but it was holding my boat up. Look at that. It's cracked in the middle. I had to repair it. Very weak. This doesn't seem like a lot of structural support to hold a boat up. So what I'm going to do is this. First thing I'm going to do is put a piece of wood underneath of it. Here, I'm gonna, a, I got new clamps for it here. But I'll put a piece of wood in the middle of it just to give it structural strength in the center. And then I'm going to put this uh, polyvinyl uh, sheet on top versus the not use the carpet this time. This is so that the boat will slide nice and easy on here and it won't scratch or anything. So I think that's why I've seen other boats use that before. I haven't cut the length yet and everything yet, but I think that's gonna work good. And after I get all that done, put it together, get all that done, we're gonna screw it together, we're gonna glue it together, and we're gonna tattoo it. Gigmaster approved right there. Bam! All right, so let's get going. Uh, I'll show you once I get one of these completely completed and show you the final product once it's done. I think this is gonna work really good. You see right now, it's off right now. I got this one off here. I have not got that one off yet over there because like I said, you have to cut them and break them off sometime. And all I got these off. These are gonna be doing the same thing. And I'll show you what I'm gonna do with those in just a minute. I had to cut those off right there. This helps the boat slide in there. And we're gonna put those little vinyl on that too. So I think it's gonna work good. All right, stay tuned. We'll show you all the vinyl products. All right, we got the two pieces glued and screwed together. And now what we're gonna do is uh, put this vinyl on top here. And I'm countersinking it with this right here to give it a little bit of, so when the head goes down, it goes down below the surface here, as you can see. So it won't hit the boat. So it won't scratch the boat surface. So that's plenty, it's a quarter inch below that. This won't wear down a quarter inch. This should stay just slick like this and come right, right on and off. So we're gonna go install this. I got a couple holes drilled here, up and down here. We'll get this top installed, get the rest of it installed down here. Uh, then we gotta mount the uh, brackets to hold it on with, and we'll be good to go to set up on the boat and see how it looks. All right, stay tuned. It's looking good so far. I like it. All right, number one, uh, almost installed. All I can do is tighten the nuts up, and she is in. Look at that. Isn't that gonna be nice for the boat to ride on right there? Versus this. Look at this. And I, I, if I stood on this right now, I think it would probably crack right there. This one already is cracked in half, so the boat will be much safer now than it was before for sure oh my god that's terrible that is uh unbelievable this is actually moves right now because i hadn't tightened the bolts up but that's why it's going to sit just like that straight screwed screwed glued and we're going to tattoo it a little bit gig master approved awesome all right let's keep getting up and finish up the job all right we got one install working on the second one let's check it out it was actually a little bit more damaged than I thought. This is, it was just about ready to fall off. Look at that. That wouldn't have lasted much long. It was actually rotten. I think I can pull it out. Holy smoke, look at that. That whole piece of wood is rotten. I can pull it all the way out right there. It's come all the way out right there. Look at that. So it's a good thing we decided to go ahead and change this out because that could have broke off. The boat could have fell off the trailer. All kind of problems. It's actually been up too somehow. All right, but we got the second one getting ready to get together. We just cut some 
poly board there. I tell you what, that was a good investment. I bought that four by eight sheet and I made all the containers in the boat with it. That's some good stuff, that poly board right here. Sells at Lowe's, or Home Depot, I think it was. But anyway, that really came in handy. That's for the top of it. I got two pieces cut here. We'll go ahead and screw it, glue it, and tattoo it. Gigmaster approved. All right, let's get going. Here we go. All right, it is looking good. Got nice, everything is level, both sides. We got both of them in and ready to pull the boat up on it. Now the next, uh, the next project is to come over here, put it underneath that boat and pull it up onto the trailer. We still have to put, we're gonna put two two by fours on this right here with the little uh, poly runner on the edge of it. So it'll just slide up on the knife easy. We can do that while it's actually, the boat is on the trailer. I'd rather go ahead and get the boat on the trailer while it's still light and get everything set up. And I think that's gonna be the case. All right, well, that's the old ones right there and they are trash. Can't believe they'll even hold the boat up like they were. Look at that. That thing is rotten coming off. This thing is split in the middle, that one's split. It was ready to go anytime. That boat would have fell right off. So thank God we got it done now. Just so it'll be nice and sturdy. We're all gonna do some stuff on the trailer too. I got a new roller to put up here. We're gonna adjust that so the boat doesn't come up quite as far. We got a new one to put up here. Move some stuff, slide this down a little bit. So we're gonna do some other stuff, but right now we want to get the boat so it's safe and secure on the trailer right now. And that's the number one uh, project right now. So let's get that done. Let's see if we can slide over there, get the boat pulled up back on the trailer, and then start working on the rest of it. All right, stay tuned. We're doing it right now. All right, I climbed up on the tongue to get it to come down, straight, crank the boat up, and I crank it like this. And I, look at that. I just about got the tongue weight to the point it'll stay down now. That was tough though, man. That was rough. But the boat is running really good on the new runners. It slid up pretty easy on them, so that means it'll slide back off easy. So I think these new runners will work great. They're much better than that carpet and everything. Um, anyway, we're gonna go ahead and get up here and mount this little bumper here, adjust the bumper down there, and get the sides mounted over there and be ready to go. All right. All right, we're now working on the runners on the side of the boat so the boat hits the edges and makes it kind of guide it to the center. And I'm making them a little bit bigger than they were so that it actually guides it so I don't have just a little bit of space on each side so it actually guides it right on top of those new runners I made so the little rib and bottom of the boat on each side falls right on top of them and slides right in. I'm trying to make the boat very efficient so when I drive onto the boat, whoosh, boom, it's done. Uh, the more efficient you make things, the longer you can detect, the more targets you can dig, the more targets you dig, the more good stuff you find, right? So that's what I'm working on right now. So these are it right here. Now these are gonna be the two that go on the side of the boat where the boat hits it and rides in and you got this poly up here so that it doesn't scratch the boat, slides nice and easy, and, and it's smooth. So what I do, I'll screw all these together, screw, glue, and tattoo these guys. And so that they will be perfect for going up on the, on the side of the boat and guiding it right in and make it fast, fast loading and fast getting off both of them. So anyway, we're gonna put these together, screw them, glue them, and tattoo them right now, and put them on, and I'll show you once I get them on. All right, let's do it. Oh, actually, I had work in the dark now. It's been an all day project. But just wanna show you real quick. This is what the old piece looked like right here. Kinda of half rotten, carpet falling all part off of it. And this is a new one. The boat will slide evenly on this right here, this poly. And we're gonna mount it right here to this right here like this. We'll even it up best we can. And the boat will slide right in on that right there. We hope anyway. So let me do that. I'm gonna get this route right now and center everything up. Get some uh, marks on it and uh, get it mounted. All right, we got it mounted and ready to go. From this junk piece to that right there. And that awesome right there. That should be no problem at all for that boat to hit that edge. The boat kind of slowly comes up, curves in at the front. It's not a square bow, so it's gonna slowly come in. This will guide it right into the tilt on the trailer and put it right on top of the proper position on the trailer so we don't have to worry about it and be very efficient and fast loading. I love it. Well, we'll at least give it a try in the near future and make sure it does work right. But uh, 
that's the plan anyway we're gonna put one more on the other side just like that it's dark over there so i won't show you that one but it's gonna be look just like this one and i don't know if you can see this or not but i've got this all rigged up i think how i'm gonna do it can you see here the uh bow will hit this this bumper right here i got a new bolt to put in there and it'll hit that roll right there that'll keep the boat from bouncing up and down going down the road give a nice firm sit and when i push it up on the trailer it'll hit that right there and stop real quick i'm gonna adjust this a little bit everything's still loose i'm gonna pull it up about six inches everything i'm gonna pull that six inches up just six inches up and everything should ride perfect man that's gonna look great man awesome you know i um i like to show this stuff that uh you see me find all kind of cool stuff but there's a lot that goes into finding stuff. It, you just don't walk out on the beach or go out in the water and start finding stuff. You got to do your research. You got to do your maintenance and you got to keep your maintenance up like on this boat right here. It, it's a lot of work that goes into finding that one or two great relics. It's not just, and some people do get lucky, just walk right out and find something, you know, a beginner's luck they call it. And they find something really cool right off the bat. But to find a, consistently find good stuff, you got to keep your stuff up. You got to keep searching. You got to do your research and you got to stay on top of things. So that's what I'm trying to do today is stay on top of things, keep everything in a good running order. Also did some uh, maintenance work on our uh, snooper rig on a uh, hookah max. I replaced that valve that's supposed to let the um, idle speed go right now because the other day me and Jared were in it and it actually shut off on us underwater. You know, you're 10 feet underwater with weight belt on you, go, no air at all. And uh, the engine had cut off, drained all the air out of the line. You got to um, disengage your weight belt and shoot up to the top to get some fresh air. So it gets kind of dangerous. So you want to keep your stuff in order, especially life support systems like that. So, but I always keep enough weight that I can actually get to the surface without it if I have to. So I, I try to err on the safety side on that kind of stuff. Anyway, I appreciate everybody coming along and seeing what it takes to keep things in order, to keep finding good stuff. All right, appreciate everybody coming along. Please click like, comment below, share, and you know the rest. Subscribe to the Gig Master. All right, thanks for coming along.